Talking with Ramonda Bacon. I am Ramonda Bacon, and today I am really excited to introduce to you some beautiful sisters that God has placed into my life. Now, I naturally have three amazing sisters, but God has also given me beautiful spiritual sisters who I am so happy to be in a sister circle with. And I've asked them to join me today just to talk about our relationship and what we believe God has called us as women to be pillars for one another. So without further ado, I would like to welcome and introduce to you my beautiful sisters. Hi, ladies. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love each of you dearly. Um, I was saying during my introduction how God has cultivated our sisterhood and how special each one of you are to me. So if we could just take a moment and introduce ourselves, it would be so helpful for our, our audience. So we'll start with Sister Mia. Hi, my name is Mia. And um... I am blessed to be a part of this group. Amen. All right. Next, Sister Cynthia. Hi, ladies. My name is Cynthia, and I am just thrilled to be part of Sister Seeds and now with House of Prayer. This is an intimate group, and I feel that the Lord has placed us together for a reason, and I am just delighted be a part of it all for the name of and the glory and honor of God. Amen. Amen. Sister Sharice. Hello, ladies. Um, my name is Sharice. And um, like the other ladies, I am very honored, um, humbled, and grateful to be a part of a sisterhood, a um, smaller, intimate group that just allows us to um, come together on multiple levels. So I'm just very grateful that God brought us together. Amen. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Sister Andrea. I'm Sister Andrea, and I am thrilled to be a part of, of Sister Thornsby's House of Prayer. Um, it's been a blessing to me since I've been a part of it. Um, I love the fact that uh, it's an intimate group uh, where we're cultivating these uh, friendships and relationships, a sisterhood where we can come and just lay it all at the altar, at the mm -hmm. table. Um, there's, it's the no judgment zone. Yes. Um, and I, it's a place where I feel free and I'm thankful for each and every one of you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You know, it's funny how we ended up, we do have one sister that is not with us today and her name is Sister Sharice Tippins. We love her dearly. She'll be on our future calls. Uh, but it's just, to me, how God just put us together, because remember, I sent out the invitation for the House of Prayers to all the Sister So and C's uh, ladies, right? But only you ladies responded. And so when we met, we were like, okay, is this God? Should it just be us or should it be others or what have you? And we just believe that God put us together for a particular reason. And we actually have seeing God work during our calls, like different conversations that we've had with one another, uh, the transparency that we have, the truth, the, the cry, the tears, and the yeah. laughter and the joy. Yeah. And uh, so we believe that God did put us together for a particular reason. Sister so and sees the house of prayer to me, you women, I'll just speak first. Um, each of you brings something special to me. Um, I, we've talked about it. We've laughed about it. I say, Sister uh, Mia, Sister Mia is my sister that I can call and I can get wisdom. I could be all amped up and she's even killed, but she's speaking the word and truth to me. You know, she never changes and everything that she says to me is spot on for what I need to hear in that moment. So I, we met at church and uh, she and I, I seen her, she was sitting like from uh, to the left of me. And I was like, there is something about that lady. There's something. <laughs> and ironically at the end of service, we were able to talk and I said, I want to hug her, but I don't want to think that she thinks I'm crazy or whatever. And this is what was before the <clears throat> pandemic. So we were able to hug and we embraced. And ever since then, we've had the opportunity to, to really share and pour into one another. And I'm really proud of her because she's a reader like this lady has so many books and we talk about different books and I just I just love your spirit sister and then their sister Cindy wow a big 
<laughs> bundle of joy. Like Sister Cindy is that sister for me that when I talk to her, she's going to tell me, and this and that, I mean, like fire just on it, right? Just telling me who God is. And even when we're walking through trials, but God, but God is what she reminds me. And her spirit, her hunger for Jesus is so evident. And I love that fire in your spirit, sister. So thank you for being that joy, that smile that you have on your face. I love you for that. And then my sister, Sharice, who I've known for a very, very long time, very long time. Uh, sister Sharice, you guys didn't hear, but she's from Kansas City, represents, she's ready for the game today. No <laughs> 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 oh, change. And uh, Sister Sharice, man, she, she has like, I'm going to say an old soul. And I, I attribute that to her relationship with her grandmother, who was a fierce woman of God, what Sharice have shared with me. And this yeah. woman knows the word. I mean, she knows the word. She speaks it uh, without any hesitancy. She's going to tell you what God said. And uh, I said, this is what she does too. She's very affirming. She's going to, when she speaks, she does that. And I just love your authority that you have, your boldness to just seek God's face and just speak his truth you know, and thank God uses you. you mightily in that way. So thank you for your friendship. Thank and there you. is our sister. We call her the diva of the sisters, Sister Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my heart for you. You're such a beautiful spirit since I met, I met Sister Andrea through another sister, uh, Sister Sonia Rennell, who was very close to Sister Andrea. We were walking, a Sister So and Seeds walk. And I, I seen her, she was walking before me and I, and I just had to give her a compliment. This girl got calves that's just like, crazy calves like legs like I was like oh you're a calf I wasn't blessed with that God bless you and and ever since then we've had a great relationship she's she just has like to me when I when I talk to you sister you're innocent you're you're just um god I can't explain it but it's like a someone really innocent and, and just really want the best for everyone you know you just have a, a love for people and for peace you know, and, and I, and I love you for that, for that spirit that you have. And I told you that you are an evangelist and I speak that over you because you yeah. have great influence over the people that's in your life. And I know that all is attributed to your mother and your father who are, who are a strong man and woman for God. So that's my thoughts about you guys. And every area that I spoke about you in are areas that you pour into me that you give me as a woman of God, as I'm pursuing what God has for me, you're pouring that into me every time we have an encounter. And I thank God for you. So how does Sister so and -C's House of Prayer, how is it mean, meaningful for, for, for you? What do you it's give in this relationship? It's a blessing. For me, it has been a blessing to have met you guys and the support that you guys bring to me in times of need of prayer. And I can just text you guys and, Hey, I need prayer for this. And I need to be uplifted. And to me, that's everything. I prayed for this yeah. and God answered yes. my prayer. Yeah. I really did. You know, yeah. I asked God to put woman of God in my life and he did that. Amen. So he's real. Yes, he is. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I can also uh, say that it's been a blessing to me. Mm -hmm. um, and likewise with uh, Mia, Sister Mia, um, when Ramonda and Sister Ramonda and I first, first met, and I was sharing with you at that time how I was going through um, a transition with friendships. I'm trying not to get emotional, but going through a transition um, with girlfriend friendships. And so I had prayed um, for that because um, I just felt like I didn't belong. I just kind of felt like an outsider. And um, though I could invite them to church, I just still felt like I was still in a different world. You know, um, there was just different things that I knew I could not do, what would not do, you know, I sing on the praise team. So I'm just like, yeah, I still have to live a different, I'm in a different light, you know, so I can't, you know, when people don't understand that, you know, they'll say that they do, but, you know, they're not walking that with you. So they don't, quite understand but I prayed for a sisterhood right and then here comes sister sowing seeds and so Man. it started off with just a walk and then I start participating in the other activities and then here comes 
uh, the even more intimate circle, yeah. Sister So and C's House of Prayer. I mean, like, how much better does it get? Mm -hmm. And it, it, it was just perfect for me for such a time as this. Um, and like Sister Me, Sister Me was saying that being able to, it's one thing when you can, you know, call your church and say, hey, put us on the uh, prayer list, put my family on the prayer list, you know, and the entire prayer church is praying for you. But it's one thing to be able to get in that intimate group and say, hey, ladies, this is going on, this mm -hmm. specific, and we mm -hmm. know that we're getting ready to start praying. It's yeah. not, oh, you know, we're going to get to that on Sunday. We'll put that on the, on the program so yeah. everybody will know. Mm -hmm. It's right here, right now. That's you beautiful. ladies, when my mom was going through, it was just like, that's mm -hmm. when I feel like House of Prayer was just really, you know, how we really had uh, that's just started right mm -hmm. and it was just like wow the prayers that were coming the support that was yeah. coming in i'm just like you know i'm crying you know because my mom i'm crying because i got these beautiful mm -hmm. sisters i'm just like emotions were just all over the place they were good and, mm -hmm. and bad emotions but they i mean it was just it was beautiful it was yeah. wonderful and and so i'm grateful i'm long-winded I'm, I'm grateful amen <laughs> amen. amen sister mm. for me um a couple things um for me, I would look at this group as a piece of heaven on earth. Mm. Mm. When I look at this screen and I see the diversity mm. and just some of us are married with children, some of us are single, some of us have uh, grandchildren, some of mm. us don't. This is what heaven looks like. Mm. All of us with one common denominator, a love for God. Yes. A love and that, you know, so that's what unites us. Even though we're different mm -hmm. in, in yeah. many ways, mm -hmm. the way we look, the way we talk, the way, you know, what, whatever, our upbringings, our backgrounds, whatever, we may all look different, but this to me is what heaven yes. is going to look like. So that's one thing for me. And then the other thing is a sisterhood. Mm -hmm. Be, mm -hmm. Me not having sisters, like I don't, I don't have sisters. Mm -hmm. I'm the eldest of two. Um, my mother had two children. I'm my dad's only child. And my, my mother had two children and I'm the eldest. I have a brother. So it's a sisterhood and it's yeah. teaching me how to be a sister, <laughs> a sister, you know, and I love it. I, yes. I, I, I just love it. So mm -hmm. just again, what I said in my initial that I'm just grateful, I'm thankful, and that I've always lived my life and believed that everything happens for a reason. Yes. God doesn't do, he doesn't make any mistakes. He, he knows what you need when you need mm -hmm. it. And yeah. I feel like this came at such a time that was needed, not just for me, but for all of us. Yes, to yes, keep us so accountable, true. to, to yes. keep us reminded. Mm -hmm. You know, even though we may not text every day, but we know that somebody out there in another part of the state, whatever uh, country, is praying for us, is, yeah. a, is, is thinking about us, yeah. is encouraging us, whatever it may be. So for that, I'm, I'm just, I'm just grateful. Amen. Amen. That's good. Amen. Thank you, sister. Amen. And I am in agreement with all of that. Lord is his time perfect. I think, you know, um, it was a definitely a divine uh, connection between me and Sister Ramonda when I attended the first Sister Sowing Seeds luncheon. And I just praise God for House of Prayer now and the relationship that I've had mm -hmm. with you. And I just want to read the word in yes. James 15, confess your faults one to another and mm -hmm. pray one for another that ye may be healed. The, effectual fervent mm. prayer righteous man woman availeth much mm -hmm. and we have each other and i just know that the lord uh put us together for a reason and i just Amen. pray God for each of you yes. and for this platform um yes. that it for be for god's honor and glory yeah and so good Amen. so good i i think that i mean you guys summed it up um, I know that God's timing is not like our timing. Um, I feel that um, as women, we sometimes feel that we don't need one another, that I don't need a friend. I can do this by myself. And, you know, that's a lot of um, um, drama that I don't need or, you know, stuff like that. But to the contrary, um, 
even if we do encounter uh, relationships with people, women, sisters, and we may not, everybody's not going to agree. You know, we all have different personalities, mm -hmm. but whomever that sister is that you're not agreeing with, guess what? God loves her. He loves her just as much as he loves you. So sometimes God is trying to show you something in yourself that you need to change through that person. We oftentimes pray, oh, God, change her, change her, make, no, God may be trying to change you, you know, our hearts, you know, none of us have arrived. We all have work to do every day. We're to pray that God, please remove those things. You know, yeah. I know that's my prayer, Lord. I, you know, I struggle in areas and I'm like, Lord, I'm growing too. But while I'm growing, as God elevates you, more things are pulled out. You know, more things mm -hmm. are revealed that needs to be changed within you. So my constant prayer for all of us um, is to God, please continue to pur purify us, Lord. Burn, burn away those things that hinders us from walking closer. Mm -hmm. um, I will say that since being a part of this group, I've seen growth. Um, I have, you guys know I have three sisters I'm very close with, love my sisters dearly. This sisterhood is dear to me. Um, I, I can't express that enough because I get something different from all of you. And I think like from my sisters, I'm the leader, my, my birth sisters, you know, I'm the leader, I'm the eldest, like Sister Cherise has stated. So in this, I feel like we're on equal. Like, you know, I'm not the leader, I'm not the eldest or whatever, or am I the eldest? But anyway, <laughs> I feel that we all draw from the same, we're drawn from the same well, we're drawn from one another. Mm -hmm. And by doing so, we're growing. And it's so edifying to me just to, just to hear what God has put out there because I am just a messenger, but what people are actually getting from what he has told me to do. And I, and I tell you guys that you guys are just as important as Sister Swansea's than I am. When, you're, when your face show up, I feel like, okay, these women, they know. They know, I don't have to, I don't have to explain it. I don't have to, to promote it because they know it. They've been a part of it. You know, mm -hmm. they've seen the work. They've been there when there was only one person. They've been there when there was a multitude of people. So you guys know about the ministry. And most importantly, you know my heart. And so that matters a lot to me. So um, I, I wanted us, and I would like for us to continue to meet like this because I feel that what we have, I know there are other women that have it. I know it. And I'm asking them to come forth and share about the importance of having sisterhood. Yes. Sisterhood that's not talking about others, but promoting others. Yes. You know? And sisterhood that are praying for others because that's what God has called us to do to be a light in this dark world. So we just walked into 2021 and everybody has resolutions and goals or what have you. And we always, we just spoke about bettering ourselves. What mm -hmm. have you wrote out? Because you, you guys know, y'all see, you may have seen my message I put about us making plans but not consulting God about, Lord, what do you have for me to do this year? What have you sought God and say, God, what do you have for me this year? And what has he said to you? What, what has he placed on your heart to do for the advancement of his kingdom in 2021? For me, it has been discipline. Mm -hmm. He's been very clear to me about that. And, um, you know, I, I'm doing it, you know, I, I've been praying for it and he's been speaking through people about it and he's just amazing. You know, he yes. keeps confirming that that's something that I really need to focus on this year. And not that I wasn't disciplined before, but, you know, sometimes we kind of stray away from things and, and. I know that I need to, you know, stay on the track even when I don't feel like doing something, you know, even when I don't feel like doing it, just do it. And, and so that's something that I'm working on this year for sure. Amen. Amen. Good. Yeah. Anyone else? Well, I, I'll say the same thing. It's definitely has been discipline as well. Um, specifically in the areas of 
know, uh, strengthening, strengthening my core, being more, uh, you know, taking care of my body, yeah. um, fasting, uh, the power of fasting. And I thank you, sisters, for joining together. To yes, fast. I know. <laughs> and Lord just said more of that. Yeah. And, you know, my goal for this new year in 2021 that the Lord has given me is to take care of my body and to draw near by fasting. So Amen. that's good. Well, mine has <laughs> been <laughs> something that I am working on. Mm. Uh, again, I know we don't make resolutions, but it's, a, it's an item that I work on year after year after mm. year, and it's time management. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the area I'm just like, you know, I'll do good for a while and then I'll slip back into just like today for the call. I knew I had this call coming and I'm just like, okay, laying out my clothes, <laughs> out everything. And because in my head, I know that I have everything laid out. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I can just do it. And then and I'm like, oh, then I got to do this. And then yes. I got to do that. Oh, and then I plug in my iPad. Oh, I'm just like, oh, you're going to stop it. So mm. the I am, that, that's something I am heavily working on. It's, that's and, good. Uh, in, in fact, um, my girlfriends used to laugh at me prior years. They'd be like, it's working in time management. I'm like, I got here on time. Because... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I am. That's good. That's good, sister. <laughs> Um, for me, um, maybe a little strange to some, but it's personal to me is listen. Mm -hmm. So God is, is I'm in a place where I just need to really just be still and listen. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I feel like God has been pouring into me from a little child, really. You know, I've been in church all my life. I've been in different roles in church, leaderships of different things. And so like Reminda initially said when she did the introduction on me or kind of like a, a, just a little background on me, um, I know the word, you know, but that's fine to know the word, but do you really know the word? Am Amen. I really applying it Amen. to everything, you know? Amen. And something as I'm speaking right now comes to mind that God Amen. is saying, don't limit him. Yes. We put limits yeah. we do. on yeah. God and wow. we insert him where we want to insert him, but God is bigger than that. He yeah. wants to be a part of everything. everything. Amen. I don't care how small it is, mm -hmm. how big it is, how important it is, how significant it is. He wants to be a part of every area of our lives. So for me, it's just listening and really trusting him, yeah, really man. trusting and knowing, knowing, not wavering, not doubting, not going back, praying about it and picking it up, but really trusting and knowing and believing that he got it. Amen. Amen, yeah. girl. That's so, good. Yeah. That's where yeah. I'm at. Mm -hmm. thank, but thank you for that yeah. reminder. Yes. That God is not too small and he's a exactly. part of Amen. everything. Thank you for that reminder. Amen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank we, you, you know, I, I have to remember we, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We put yeah. him in a box and then we yeah. take him out when mm -hmm. we want him to. Yes. Okay, Lord, can you yes. work on this? Okay, Lord, yes. can you work on that? No, we should surrender it all to him. Yeah. Yes. He yes. loves us so much. He, everything in our life, mm. if it means something to us, yes. it means something to him. Praise the Lord. There's nothing yes. too great or too small. Yes. He wants to be a part of it all. Yeah. Just give yes. it to him and go to sleep. Yeah. No, stop worrying about it. He got oh, right. it. Oh my <laughs> goodness. It. I have you, goosebumps all I over my too. body as you're speaking. Me too. Especially <laughs> when you just said yeah. what you just said, because yeah. Walter and I, we just did the daily word encouragement. And it was about David when he was running from his son Absalom and how he just gave it to God, you know, mm. or whatever. And he went to sleep. He rested because he knew that God would prevail in it. And that's what we do. We wrestle. We can't sleep at night. We toss and turn. We're worrying about all these things when God is mm. right there. You said right. you trust me. But are you mm. trusting me with this, right? Mm. And, and so that's you when you really yeah, trust exactly. Me. Right. You, you really trust, trust me, me this much? Maybe <laughs> uh -huh. a little. Maybe this. Okay, yeah. Lord, I'm growing in my faith. I trust you. Maybe a little. No, we should everything. Yes. He got it. Amen. He got it. That's he got so it. And that and that. 
if he takes like, care of, I'm looking out my patio, the birds and the squirrels. Uh, you know, they, they, they don't worry about what they're eating. A bird, yeah. a bird, a squirrel. <laughs> I have squirrels all the time in my backyard. They back there finding, he take, if he yes. will take care of them, why won't he take care of us? Oh, he yeah. Amen. Amen. He got it. You're yeah. preachy, girl. I know. I told you guys. <laughs> <laughs> really? What were you going to say, it's Sister not Andrea? Me, it's him. Trust me, Amen. it's not me. It is him. I all give him, him all of Praise it. The Lord. All of it. Amen. What were you going to say, Sister Andrea? You're going to say. I was going to say what she was saying. It yeah. brings me right back to the song, which is also the reminder. If you're going to pray, don't worry. If you're going to worry, then don't, don't pray. pray. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good. So good. So um, the next thing I, I just wanted to to Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do this again. We're definitely gonna do this again. There's so much that we could talk about, uh, but as we conclude this segment, um, just think about. No one knew that we were ever gonna be faced with a pandemic. No one knew uh, mm -hmm. that we would see this day. And I'm just still just baffled and astounded by going out and seeing everybody with masks on. Like I just yes. cannot believe it. Right? Yeah. Um, but. <laughs> when you look at yourself today and had you known where you would be today, and I'm just meaning like throughout the years up until where you are now, what would you have, what would you tell your younger self? What would you say to her, that young woman, you know, everything that you've walked through in your life, what would you say to her? And also if you could close out by just giving our viewers, your go-to scripture, what scripture is an anchor for you and your soul during the time of trouble? So anyone can start here. Um, I can start. Um, I would say so much to my, to my younger self. Um, but one of the things that I definitely would say to her was, would be to listen to instructions I used to think I was Miss Snow at all. Mm. And because of that, I, I gone through a lot of my life that I know, like Sister Cherie said, you know, God knew I was going to go through that, you know, choices I made. And they've made me who I am today, but I would definitely listen, mm. you know, and, and take advice. You know, I always wanted to do things my way. Mm -hmm. It was always my way or the highway and I've learned, yeah. you know, God humbled me yeah. big time. And so now like sister Cherie says, you know, I give it all to you. What do you want me to do? Great. You know, but it's a lesson, you know, lessons that I've learned and, and I'm grateful Amen. for those lessons. Amen. And my Amen. scripture that I always go to is Isaiah 41 10. Yeah. And I'll read it real quick. Um, it says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Yes. Amen. That's so my good. scripture. That's always my scripture. I always remember you're there with me. And yes. you're right by my side and it's going to be okay. Amen. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Thank you, sister. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, uh, if I could say something to my younger self, um, and just a little bit of transparency, <laughs> um, and I know I can share this with you all because it's not silly to you all. Um, I actually did write a letter to my 16-year-old mm -hmm. self. And so um, uh, without sharing everything that, that's in that letter, um, so I would say and did say that, you know, along the way, um, you're going to have some distractions, mm -hmm. but you have to, you know, keep your eye focused on your goal. Um, set your, keep your eyes set on God. Stay, stay on your goal. Don't look left. Don't look right. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to have distractions. You're going to have some disappointments, but don't let it throw you off the course. Yeah. Um, you're going to meet some little guys, you know, mm -hmm. you're going to, you know, Mm -hmm. think that you know you're in love it'll be puppy yeah. love you know <laughs> um you're gonna meet some friends you're gonna meet some great friends 
Um, and some of those great friends are going to depart along the way, but it's nothing wrong with that because everybody mm -hmm. has to take a different path. Uh, but you stay your, your course yes. and uh, maintain your relationship with God and uh, get, don't, don't get discouraged when things don't happen your, your way, because that's the operative word, your way. Yeah. Um, our ways are not our ways and our thoughts are not his. His timing is perfect. Yes. Uh, he knows what's best for us. And um, I told myself and would tell myself, you do not want what God does not want for, for you. You. Amen. you do not want that. And so my scripture that I always go to, and I think I shared it with you guys when I um, graduated college, I had it on my uh, cap. Um, it's uh, Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through yes. Christ who strengthens right. me. Right. And I always emphasize the all, the all mm -hmm. and the strength. Do all those things and you'll do it. You'll have the strength to do it because he said it in his word. Yes. Um, his word is a promise and I stand on that promise. Amen. That's Amen. good, sister. Great. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. Right. Mm. I'll go ahead and go next. Um, for me, I would definitely have gone by James 122, but be ye, be ye doers of the word mm. and not hearers mm. of deceiving your own selves and you know i also grew up in the church and um yeah <laughs> that's the first <laughs> i really you know myself and because of many decisions and you know you look back and you go really but you know god is good and he is faithful and he has never left me or forsaken me Amen. and my favorite verse is actually the whole chapter of Psalms 23, but Psalms 23, one, um, which is, <laughs> um, the Lord is mm. my shepherd, I shall mm. not. Yes. And that's good. Been tried and tried life. Okay, no matter what I've done, the Lord has always been there with his, bent down with his hands, mm. reaching down to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm the one that needs and submit. Yeah. And he has just taken, through it all, mm -hmm. through it all. And I've learned mm, trust in Jesus. Yeah. Learned. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. Amen. Okay. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, what I would say to my younger self, um, slow down. Hmm. Mm. Slow down and live in the moment. Yes. Um, basically, that's all I would really, to sum it up, that's what I would say. Slow down. Live in the moment. Um, don't take life for granted. Yes. Um, my husband has a saying, um, and probably people have heard it different kind of ways, but you only get one thing at this at this one one mm -hmm. time at this thing called life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when it's over, it's over. There's yes, no yes. more. It's, it's this, so this true. earthly, this earthly. Let me, yes. let, me, let, me yes. let me choose Here. my words. This earthly life is over. So for me, it would really be slow down. Just 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 slow down and live in the moment. Amen. And Ironically, I'm still telling myself to that to this day because I'm just I have a lot of energy normally um, and I, I move a lot and I'm, I'm always doing things. I feel like I always got to be doing something. And if mm -hmm. I'm not, you know, I feel like I'm not being productive. So that's something I'm still telling myself to this day. But if I could go back to my younger self, that would really be to sum it up in a nutshell. Just slow down, slow down and, and really live in the moment. Take mm -hmm. take, you know take time for whatever it is, whatever's going on at that present moment, just, just be there, be present, yeah. be present. Right. And my scripture is sister Cindy, my favorite scripture <laughs> is Psalms 23. <laughs> and for some reason I learned that scripture, I memorized it as a child. And I have, let me just say this. I try not to say I have favorite scriptures, but I do have a lot. Mm -hmm. Just that's just being a kid. Back to Sunday school and all of that. I have a lot of scriptures that that'll come to me 
when I need them, I guess, mm -hmm. for lack of better words. But I always, always, always go back to Psalms 23. And I'll just read it because it's very short. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Yeah. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Mm -hmm. He yeah. restoreth my soul. He leadeth mm -hmm. me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Mm. Yea, though I walk mm. through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no, no evil, evil. Yes. for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Mm -hmm. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my mm. enemies. Mm. Thou anointest my head with oil. Mm. My yes. cup right. runneth over. Amen. Surely, oh. this, is, this is the one that always just gets me. <laughs> Surely, goodness and mercy yes. shall follow me all oh. the days of my life. Yes. I will dwell in the oh, house sir. of the Lord forever. Mm, and mm, I just say again, mm, ladies, mm, surely, yes. goodness and his mercy mm -hmm. will follow you. Mm -hmm. So that has always given me strength. Yeah. It always is encourage me. I'm getting teary out now because mm. God is with us. Yes, I don't he care is. what you're going through. Mm -hmm. I may not seem like it because I know when I come on here with you guys, I'm always full of energy and I'm just like probably too much and loud and all of that. But <laughs> I tell you, God is with us. And yes. I hope you trust me and believe. Reminder knows very intimate personal things about him. I have gone through, mm. I'm going through, and I know that I'm some things mm -hmm. are ahead. But what I do know yes. is that my heavenly father, he yes. is with me. He will yes. never leave me, yes. he will never forsake me. I don't care what you're going through, mm -hmm. he is right there with yes. you. Amen. The Bible tells us he is sitting on the right hand, the interceding on yes. each and every one of our behalfs. I don't care what it looks like in your natural, mm -hmm. but sometimes we have to step out of that mm -hmm. and go tap into that supernatural mm -hmm. because right. he has angels dispatched mm -hmm. watching over yes. you. When we cry, he oh. cries. He mm -hmm. sees your heart. He That's knows everything. everything. Yeah, I'm talking Lord. about everything that you are going through. The Bible said he knows the number of the hairs, hairs on your head. head. He cares, he loves us, <laughs> and he wants us to live, and not just live, he wants us to live in overflow. He yes. wants us to be, a, he wants our light to shine so bright mm -hmm. that it beams from Southern California, where I'm sitting, <laughs> all the way to Northern <laughs> California, where you guys are. That's how, the, that's the type of God we, yeah, that we serve. Amen. 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 That's, that's good. big, and he cares. If I, if I can leave you with it, he cares. Yes. He cares. Yes. And he's so good. He is Always. so good. Like, Always. He is so good. And we just, if we could just, oh my God, it's not enough words yeah. to describe what he is and yeah. where he, what he wants for us. Yeah. He wants more for us than what you can ever imagine Amen. for yourselves. And we can just, just oh. just mm. take the again mm. the limits off yes. he wants us to live and walk in overflow in Amen. abundance Amen. and not just for you for everyone around you yes he lord. wants that for us so yes lord i'll just that's but good I love you. so I so love, basically go ahead sister go ahead go ahead go ahead i wanted to say that the scripture that scripture uh psalm 23 Mm -hmm. It's just so, it's just, it's mm -hmm. so impactful. And yeah. it's just amazing that uh, these two sisters would share that that's their favorite. So yeah. I'm going to share just a quick transparent moment. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I used to start, and I say used to um, suffer from anxiety really, really bad. And I would have mm -hmm. panic attacks. Mm -hmm. and I would just so bad you know I felt like I was dying and so I would be so scared sometimes I would call an ambulance sometimes I you know you just so I don't know if you guys ever experienced panic attacks mm -hmm. but you're just so all over the place and out there you just don't know what you want this thing to stop you don't know what to do you're trying to get up sit down like let me just I don't mm -hmm. you know but sometimes when it would happen in the middle of the night uh, I would call I would call my mom and dad's phone 
that's a scripture that that scripture my dad would always get and he'll be like where's your bible you know and we'll get i'll get my bible whatever and he was like oh come on he was like come on let's read it and we read that we read that script it'd be that one and the other one i was pulling it up as we were as we were talking it's that one and it's psalm 20 psalm 27 the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear? Yeah. The Lord is sure the stronghold of my life. Mm-hmm. Whom mm-hmm. shall I be afraid? Yes. When yes. evil advances to devour my flesh, when my enemies and my foes attack me, humble will still fall. And my dad would, we would recite those over it, and there would just be such a peace. And so it's like when somebody uh, brings those scriptures, it always, it always gets me emotional because it reminds me of those moments calling in the middle of the night you know thank god for parents you know mm-hmm. but calling in the middle of the night my dad would be like oh, let's go let's go let's go where's your bible you know never saying oh you'll be all right It'll, you'll work through you know but we would always like where's my let's go let's read it you know and we, we read that whole thing we read a couple times and then we go to psalms 27 and by the time we do that i'm like all right i'm gonna die i think i can you know go back to sleep you know but that those those that scripture always gets me so emotional <laughs> Because they remind me of that, and I yes. say, "You two." Psalms are like, the book of Psalms is yes. just beautiful. David, yes. King David, yes. so amazing, yes. so I'm amazing. Like, yes, mm-hmm. used to suffer mm-hmm. from those panic attacks. That's why, that's why I put it back there. I'm like, uh-uh, you're not claiming yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So I guess people, whomever's watching, you're, you're getting a glimpse of our time together. Um, and we're being kind of little walking on eggshell because we can get really transparent with one another because of the love that we have for one another. And we just feel freely to speak and encourage one another. And I feel, and I'm going to close on this, is this is the reason for Sister Sowing Seeds. Um, this is the reason that God placed the woman in the mirror on my heart. And, and it wasn't basically for you, it was for me too, because if I could tell my younger self um, something, it would be, don't be afraid to be different. Mm. 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 Don't feel like you have to fit in, because most of my life I felt that I had to fit in, that I had to be a part of things or or people that I just never felt comfortable, you know, and I'm from a big family and I just never felt like I fed in with anyone. And I always knew that God had a calling on me. There was something, I'm not better, never saying that, but there was something that he was always speaking over me, even as a young girl. Um, and so when he really birthed Sister So and Sees, he was telling me, this is what's needed. My, my daughters need to know who they are, their identity in me. It's not in the world, it's in me. And so when I was embracing that, this ministry was birthed. And when the woman in America, Mira, happened last year, it was because he just wants us to know who we are. The enemy That's tries right. to speak lies to us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The enemy yeah. tries to break up what God has for good to be together. And it's so easy for it to happen. It's so easy. When anytime you hear something negative, you know that's not God's voice. God doesn't speak negative. He speaks love. He speaks yeah. truth. And for me, my favorite scripture, what I have to constantly remind myself is who I am. You guys, I was, I was speaking with Sister Mia earlier and I was like, if I could just be that Christian that just went to church and came home, okay. But God put so many things in my heart, on my spirit, and people think that I'm just doing it to be busy, but I'm not. These are things that he drops in my spirit. And I'm so afraid to not to do what he's called me to do because my day is going to come where I'm going to stand before him. And he's going to look at my life. And I want to make sure that he says to me, well done. Well done. Because that's what I want to hear his words come for me. And so my scripture that I go to is Jeremiah 1 and 5. And he just tells me, he tells me, Ramonda. Before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Before you love were born, that one. I knew you. I knew you. I knew the plans I had for your life. I knew yeah. what you were going to walk through. I knew all of this. I set you apart. We're all set apart. We're not of the world. We're not of that. 
um, I appointed you as a prophet for the nations. And we're all called. It's not just me. We're, we're all called for a purpose. I tell you guys all the time, you know this. I don't want to sound redundant, but I'll say this again. Mia can reach people I can't reach. Sister Cindy, Cindy can reach people I can't reach. Sister Sharice mm -hmm. can reach people I can't reach. Sister Andrea can reach folks that I can't reach. But we're to come together as sisters to encourage one another, to pour into one another. So when we go out, we're full. Yes. We're full. Amen. Um, I, I love you from my heart sincerely. I thank you for everything that you've planted into this ministry. I pray that God gives it back to you. Someone mentioned, I think Sister Sharice in your scripture, your cup overflows. I pray that for you, for you, mm -hmm. your families, that God would just continue to pour into you. Absolutely. And I speak peace over you, peace and God's love. And I thank you for being a part of this platform. I thank you for being transparent. I thank you for just your whole being, your spirit. And I look forward to more conversations like this with us so that we can share, that we can be lights because there are women out there that need this, that mm -hmm. need to know that there is good relationships out there amongst women, sisters. There are healthy relationships that are out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And to know that they can trust the olive yeah. branch. That's a part of my, the mission about extending an olive branch to so start a new don't let mm. our past hinder us from walking forward mm. to right. something positive for Jesus. Each and every one of you are powerful women. Just so much anointing on you that it's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> and I'm just so excited about all that God is going to do on this platform. And I'm more excited that you're going to be a part of it. So again, thank you so much. And I did ask for your favorite scripture, but now we're going to come together. And we're going to sing a song. And I'm not a singer. I don't profess to be one, but we're going <laughs> to praise Jesus. And it's a very simple song that we're going <clears> to <throat> sing. And I know everybody knows it. And it's, yes, Jesus loves me. Mm, yes, he so does. So we're going to sing that because we know that he does. So let's me, 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 me. Don't worry, <laughs> me. Boy. Let's get it all together. <laughs> and we're going to end it on this note. And again, you guys, I look forward to other uh, um, uh, talks, discussions with me on this platform. And I love you dearly. So let's go. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Have fun. Good luck to your team. Yes. 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 Yes